why, PE Nation, should you get a mascot? Well, I'll tell you why as we're going now on supersizephizet.com. Here we go. Hello and welcome to the Supersize Phys Ed podcast. My name is Dave. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, I want to tell you about this new thing we got this year. It's a mascot. And it has been one of the coolest, greatest things we've ever done in PE. <laughs> it's really, really cool. So, you know, I want to tell you all about this right now. After the beat, you got to get a beat. All right. Sometimes I just need a beat. I need a transition. So uh, over the summer, um, I heard about, well, actually be, before the end of the school year, we found out the theme for this coming year, like this year currently, is like travel and adventure. So I look, I was looking online. It was funny how this worked. I was looking online for like a stuffed animal, something we could dress up and you know have it go around the uh, like the world, you know, if they're going uh, camping or uh, backpacking around Europe or something like that. When they go to a cold place, put on you know, different hats and gloves, and I don't know. I'm just thinking of some stuff. So I got a <laughs> a giraffe, a sophisticated giraffe, by the way, with a monocle like Mr. Peanut and a mustache. And so, and by the way, thank you. I put out on Twitter and uh, I think one of the face, Facebook groups, no, on Instagram, uh, like I need help for with a name. So the name became Watson. Wadsworth Yates the third because he's very sophisticated kind of like Thurston Howell the third I was thinking of like Gilligan's Island or something like that so that at the same time though this is the funny part um, this is over the summer and we did a like a sports camp um, really just a, a fun camp at our in our development me and a couple of my my PE paras we, we ran it and um, uh, Seth one of my paras and friends he brought a this wacky inflatable guy that uh, I'll show in the pictures in the episode notes. And his name is Webster or Webster, Webster famous. And he brought him to the camp and the kids just loved him. We took pictures on the slides and all this stuff. And I actually had him in my, uh, my one podcast where he didn't really say anything, but we interviewed him, um, the poolside one (laughs) at the camp. And man, we decided that we're going to make them our, both of them are mascots this year. So it's it's Webster and Watson. And Watson doesn't do a whole lot. He helped me DJ the back to school dance and uh, I bring him out sometimes, just kind of watch the kids. But Webster has been a huge, huge hit. And <laughs> sometimes I feel like um, we're just being silly by using him, but here's how we've been using him, by the way. So picture this big red uh, inflatable <laughs> thing that's always smiling and has yellow hair and make, by the way make sure you follow him on uh, Instagram we're trying to his Instagram handle is uh, that he just wants to blow up um, <laughs> so I'm gonna link that up so try to follow him by the way Webster famous and the way we've been using him though we originally just kind of introduced him to the kids he didn't say anything and he just kind of waved like we'd be standing behind him and he'd be waving and it looks like he's waving and all this stuff and so then we started doing different things with him because I'm like, um, we have a theme song for him, which is from the Lego 2 movie. Uh, it's called Catchy Song. So the kids know when they hear that song, the Webster's coming out and he'll start jumping around and dancing and the kids stand up and dance. And usually I'll stop them and inter- interrupt. And then I'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll teach a lesson because I, I, I decided we couldn't just have him come out. You can't, you can't just, I'm not just, just going to waste time, but he gets the kids' attention and then, especially kindergarten, he, the kid, oh man, they go crazy. They go nuts for him. And we have him doing different things. Like they, our school policy is when we say freeze, please, um, everybody puts their hand in the air and they're quiet within three seconds. So we taught him how to do that. Sometimes it's funny. Sometimes it's, it's the real way. We've taught him uh, pedestrian safety. So uh, the kids will tell him you know, to look left, right, left, and you know not to walk on the street without looking and um, so we've used him for things like that or throwing and catching. <laughs> He'll pretend to catch a ball or um, pretty soon we're going to put a flag belt on him and show him how to wear a flag belt properly. 
so we're, we're using him not just as novelty, but as actually teaching, and the kids love him. And kindergarten actually said that's their favorite part about the school day is when Webster comes out. So I usually do have him, or, or Seth will interrupt me as I'm talking, and he'll just come out and, again, teach something. And it's just been amazing to see the kids. The kids are always asking about him. And sometimes he gives out uh, different prizes, or we have what's called Koki Cash, um, so they, you know, the kids can collect them and use them and spend them. So, you know, kids that are doing a good job or being nice to each other or just, uh, you know, on task or answer questions, he will give out uh, the Koki Cash. Um, let's see what else. We, <laughs> we've had him um, kind of surprise the kids in different places. Like he'll kind of pop up in and out of the windows and there's a blinds there and I'll I'll be like, what? There's nothing there. And they're like, there he is. I'll turn around and there, he'll, he'll be gone. And the kids just love it. And, and then, like I said, he'll come out and uh you know he'll he'll play his song we'll start dancing and then i'll interrupt him and be like no 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 no, okay stop 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 all right everybody sit down all right webster since you're here let's talk about this and uh we've we've done things you know like i said like man i'm trying to think what besides throwing and catching um he's done noodle tag so we showed where to tag we tag in the legs so he only has one big leg but uh we don't tag in the head or in the arms or in the back or anything so we're using him to teach things and like I said, the, the students just absolutely love love Webster. As a matter of fact, a couple of the teachers that have younger children in our school are like, "Who's this, like, Weber guy or whatever it is that my 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 son's talking about?" I'm like, "Oh, Webster, yeah, Webster's a hit." And so we even had him. Uh, he came out during our back to school dance because I was the DJ, and uh, Seth brought him along backstage. And when he came out, man, the kids were just jumping around, going nuts. He held the stick for limbo, um, just all sorts of things. But I really think it, not only is it fun for us, it's f- and not only is it fun for the kids, it gets them on task. They enjoy it. It's one of their favorite parts of the day. And he's teaching stuff, and, and they're, they're listening. So it's all sorts of things. Um, I'm not going to make this a real long episode, but I will link up some of the things. Uh, I put together a kind of a montage mix of things he's done. Now, we are going to do some kind of just funny things. Um, we decided maybe he might be, be trapped in the bathroom or something and come on out. But we'll show show the kids how to lock the bathroom door and how to clean up and, you know, things like that. We've also had him uh, talk. So Seth uses a, like, a voice app. He kind of almost sounds like a, not a robot, but sort of. And Seth will record uh, his, just Seth's own voice and he'll, you know, he'll change it. So we put the microphone up to Webster's uh, mouth and it looks like he's talking. And so he'll call out kids' names that are doing a good job and uh, he'll just <laughs> talk to the kids, like tell them, you know, thank you for coming to the dance tonight and, or, you know, when we did the dance or the kids, you know, you know, he always says, he always says a positive message at the end. And a lot of times it's WWWD, what would Webster do? And uh, just reminding them to, you know, their behavior and how they act and, just reminding them of the day's lesson. So, man, he's been fantastic. It keeps me sane too. It keeps me happy and just having fun and we're getting really creative with him. So it's just been a fantastic part of our day. So that is Webster. He is our mascot. And now it is time for a cowbell tip of the day. All right, PE Nation, so your tip of the day is, well, to get a mascot and to check out the stuff I have online. Not a big thing, but, uh, or at least think about it. Think about how you can add a different element to your PE program. It doesn't have to be mascot. I know some people have different themes, like superhero or Star Wars, and I don't do a lot of that because everything I put on my bulletin board blows away. Um, And so I I don't decorate a lot, but having a mascot has been just a game changer. It's been amazing. And so think about what you can add to your program that will engage the kids, that will excite them, and that you could use as a, like a teaching tool. Because like I said, I, if originally we were just having him come out and interrupt us, but then I was like, well, I don't want to waste time. I want him to serve a purpose. And we, we do dress him up by the way. We, we, um, he got, uh, it was picture day. So we changed his hair a little bit and, uh, we're going to put some different clothing on him and hats and things so 
Um, <laughs> so check out all that stuff, but think about what you can do in your program to just add something new and different and entertaining, but also that also serves a purpose. And that is your cowbell tip of the day. All right, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. As always, go to supersizephysed.com for more information for my free ebook that's also there or in the episode notes as well. And uh, all sorts of things, but definitely check out Webster, Webster Famous. Follow him on Instagram. I will link up his information in the episode notes as well. So check him out. You guys and girls from PE Nation are incredible. You're awesome. And you deserve a new beat. Here it is. Here's a new beat for you.